everyone, I'm Nitin Anjure. In this PSLE 2020 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 12. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 12. Okay, this is question 12 and this question is testing us on circles. Okay, let's read for part A and this question also has a part B. Okay. The figure is formed by two identical circles with center A and C. So where is A? A is over here. This is the center and C is over here and this is the center of the circle. Okay. So ABC is a square and the length A of AB is 15 cm. Okay. So ABC, this is a square and the length of AB is 15 cm. Okay. So I hope you understand this. And then for part A, they are asking us to find the perimeter of the unshaded part. See, find the perimeter of the unshaded part. And we are supposed to take pi as 3.14. Okay? So, we have to solve this question, right? Before that, let me highlight some key information in this question. So, it's formed by two identical circles with center at A and C. ABCD is a square. Length AB is 15 centimeter. Find the perimeter of the unshaded part. Okay, so where is the unshaded part? The unshaded part is here, right? The perimeter that I'm highlighting here. It's basically two arcs of a quadrant. Okay, let me show you where's the quadrant in green color. Okay, so this is one of the quadrant that I'm drawing. That is here. Okay, so this is one of the quadrant and we know that all of the lines is 15 cm. Let me draw another quadrant in blue color. Okay. So this side. Let me draw it again. Okay. Sorry. So. And this side. And then the blue line goes here. And another line here after that is 15 cm here and 15 cm here okay so even though these quadrants are not imperfect are not perfect right it's okay but i think you can see them but then this is the red color part whereby we need to find the perimeter so basically the red color the perimeter right is actually two arcs of two the two small quadrant right over here, the two arcs, right? It's two of the arcs. So basically, perimeter of unshaded pi is two arcs of the small quadrant over here, right? So, so in order to find two arcs, we need to take pi d, which is the formula for perimeter times one quarter because of the quarter circle, right? Or known as quadrant times one quarter because of the quarter circle, okay? And then we times two because there's two of them. So we need to find two arcs, right? So it's basically 3.14 times 30. So 30 is the diameter. If you add 15 and 15, 30 is the diameter. Times 1 quarter times 2. It will give us 23.55 cm times 2, which is 47.10 cm. So this is the answer for part A. Okay? So now let's move on to part B. Okay. So this is part B. So, it's still question 12. The figure is formed, same thing. Part B, find the total area of the shaded parts. They are asking us to find the total area of the shaded parts. And we know length of AB and two identical circles at center A and C. And ABCD is a square. Okay. So, now, what I'm going to do is actually, in order to find the area of shaded parts, it's actually two circles minus two area of the unshaded Okay, I think you are not sure with this already. Okay, let me draw you a simple figure over here. Same figure here. Okay, so let me just draw it over here. So, there's one circle here. And another circle overlapping, right? So, basically, there's two circles overlapping. So, you need to find the area of this unshaded part. So, when we separate the circles apart... So I'm going to separate it, one circle here, and one circle here. When I separate it, right, there's actually this area over here for each circle. 
So actually, there's actually two layers of the unshaded part when we separate the circles, right? So that is why I'm taking two circles minus area of two area of unshaded. That is why this is one and this is two, right? So this is why. So I, I hope you understand it now. And the two circles just came from separating it. Okay? So I hope you understand this. So you got to understand this concept clearly to solve this question. So first, let's start with finding two circles area. So area of two circles is equal to pi r square, the area or the formula for finding area of circle times 2. So 13 point, uh, sorry, 3.14, which is pi, times 15, which is the radius. Okay, let me just draw it here. So 15 is the radius, right? Because C is the center. So you know 15 cm is the radius. And E is the center as well. Okay? So radius is 15. Times 15 times 15. Because R2 means R times R. That is why. Times 2 again. So it will give us 706.5 times 2. So this is area of 1 circle times 2 which will give us 1,413 1, cm square as the area of two circles. Now I need to find the area of unshaded. Okay, now comes the tricky part. Okay, I think some of your teachers might have teach you the leaf method in the school. So the leaf method is basically, right, let me draw a quarter circle for you here. Blue, use black color. So this is a quarter circle, right? Sorry, let me draw again. So one here, one line here. And this is a quarter circle, right? And in this quarter circle, there's actually a triangle over here. So in order to find half a leaf, basically take the quarter circle minus the triangle, you'll get this, right? So this is why you can do this. Let me erase the radiuses and show you an example over here. So I'm going to be using the color green. Okay? So this is a quarter circle, right? You know that? And if you want to find half of the of the unshaded part, you basically need to dot a line over here. Let me draw a dotted line over here. So, and we know that this part over here this highlighted portion is actually, do you know why? This highlighted portion is actually a triangle. Maybe you cannot see the highlighted portion. Let me just shade it. And this is actually a triangle. We know that it's 15 cm by 15 cm. So we need to take the quarter circle minus the triangle in order to get half a leaf. So this is half a leaf. Okay, this is called the leaf method because when you add both of them up, it looks like a leaf, right? So that is why. So this is how you need to do it. So area of half a leaf is basically, let me draw it over here. It's basically quarter circle minus triangle equals to half a leaf. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So it's basically 706.5 because this is one circle, right? Divide by 4, which will give us a quarter circle, minus 112.5, right? Because the triangle, in order to find the triangle, is basically 15 times 15, right? Half times base times 15 times 15. Sorry, half times 15 times 15. So it will give us 112.5 cm square. So it will give us 106. 176.625 minus 112.5 you'll give us 64.125 cm square so this is how you do it okay so you found half a leaf right 64.125 cm square so this is half a leaf and we need to find two circles minus two area of unshaded so area of two unshaded is basically 4 times 64.125 because 
half a leaf right so half plus half is equal to one whole and in order to have two whole you need to have half plus half plus half plus half which is half times four that is why right, four times 64.125 which will give us 256.5 cm square so you just need to minus the circle the two circle minus the unshaded area for two unshaded areas okay so it will give us 1413 cm square minus 200 and 256.5 cm square it will give us 1156.5 cm square and so that is the answer for this question question 12 okay so i hope you understand my explanation for this question question 12 parts a and b and i hope you have learned some new concepts and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye